Uh, Louis, I have been to your public darshans and I, some, and I often see people flip around and burst into fits of laughter. They, when I ask them, they say it's a Shakti experience. What is Shakti and what does it do? <coughs> um, Shakti is it's a way of describing life force energy and specifically it's described often as the divine feminine life force energy but it's the, the source, the energy of creation that breathes life into human beings and, and sustains all life. And uh, masters have the ability to deliver, to administer, to transfer divine energy, current, you might say, the current of unconditional love, of divine power, uh, wisdom, love, into another human being. They can summon it from the Godhead from within their own God selves and they can transfer, implant it into another human being. And, um, and what happens is the Shakti, this divine energy, goes in and though they can, they can administer it anywhere they want, just by nature it often enters through the perineum and moves up the Sushumna, the spinal cord, where the, the divine energy runs, firing and emblazoning all the chakras and it bursts through the crown. And so what happens is as it goes into the root chakra, into the perineum, it opens, it, it activates the kundalini that's housed in the base of the spinal column. And that life force energy then, that divine current, comes up through the human body, the human structure, and has its way. It transmutes, it purifies, it ejects toxins, poisons. It can do all kinds of things. Uh, to your physical body, mental, emotional, spiritual, to your soul itself. And I mean, it literally has the power, and not only has the power, it can and does change the atomic and subatomic cellular structure of your being and can spontaneously heal diseases. It can spontaneously transmute and change belief systems, birth inner revelation. It can do all kinds of things. It can get, deliver you visions of divine beings, of your own divine self. Um, I mean, it's limitless. And different masters can, can apply it, can administer it in specific ways, direct it into certain parts of the body, certain organs, into certain aspects of consciousness, all being segmented, all kinds of stuff. Um, and they do. Each one you, does it differently. So that energy affects people in different ways. And many times you see physical reactions of people shaking and, and having tremors or you know, parts of the body atrophying and the mouth may close and the hands may shrivel up and, or they go into laughter or enormous crying because it's opening and healing. It might be opening a wound and, and drawing out t some toxic non-loving emotion that creates a huge release where they cry. Or they might feel so much current, so much divine love and joy that they burst like a fountain into laughter, uncontrollable laughter. And sometimes the love is just so quiet and sweet and pure, but so effulgent, it's so big and so full that like a cup runneth over, it's the extra energy just spills out of you as tears. You just can't contain it. Even though there might not be some huge dramatic emotion along with it, sometimes it's just feeling so full as that light fills you and fills you, it spills over as tears. So it does many different things to many people. But I can guarantee you one thing I can say with 100% certainty, if it's happening in the presence of and is being ministered by a God-realized being, whatever is happening is profound and beautiful and permanent and is very transformational. Um, now, some people say, sometimes cynics or skeptics will mock and say it looks like some of those fake things you see in the big revivalist churches and the evangelists and when people fake all kinds of stuff and and um, you know that's I have no really comp no real comment to make on that I think if anyone's in the room you'll see the difference <laughs> you'll see there's no faking what what happens um, when a, a God realized being is is pouring divine love and current into um, another human being and, in, and imbuing them with some of his or her own divine consciousness and soul vibration going into a body, it's very clear uh, what's real and what isn't. But there are cynics and skeptics everywhere, so, you know, it is what it is. Thank you for that question.